Hey guys, I'm Rich from NeoWin. Today we're talking about Microsoft's WordFlow keyboard for iOS. Um, obviously it's the keyboard that came from Windows phones and it's a keyboard that us Windows phone users really love. So if you're a Windows phone user that recently switched over to iOS, you're probably pretty excited about this. Uh, I know Windows phone users aren't really. If you switched over to Android, you're not really in luck yet, although you may be in the future as it is being expanded to other platforms. All right, um, and also Microsoft really seems to be focusing on Android lately, so I I'm actually surprised to see it on iOS first. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, I'm sure you've seen the screenshots of one-handed mode. So you click this little arc over here and you drag, and there you go, that's your, your one-handed mode if you're right-handed. So to, get, to go back to the regular keyboard, you just swipe back like that, and if you're left-handed, you just swipe over here. All right, and that's the one-handed mode. Um, these are all part of OneNote, by the way. But the keyboard works well. I have never been a fan of third-party keyboards on iOS before because they're never really that good. This one seems to be fantastic so far. Um, even the one-handed mode is better than I expected it to be because, I mean, obviously it's like a distorted design. It's not a keyboard that you're, it's not a keyboard design that you're used to, so you think it's gonna be tough to get used to. It hasn't taken me any getting used to at all so far, and it just seems to be working well. All right, so we also have customization options, and we're gonna head over to the WordFlow app. Now, if you download a third-party keyboard on iOS, you know it comes as an app. It, it doesn't just show up in your keyboards. All right, so we have different themes. All right, we're gonna click these. By the way, this is the one we're using right now. We have a dark theme, and then we have cool backgrounds here. And you notice that the top and bottom parts here are a different color. Um, that's gonna be important in a moment. Lots of beautiful themes. And you can set your own theme as well. So let's just apply this, and we'll see that's, that's my keyboard now. Or I could set my own theme by picking a photo. So, Let's pick this one. That's pretty nice, I think. All right, so it's got to download that from iCloud, obviously. And we're just going to apply crop. By the way, we can pinch to zoom. We'll apply crop like that. All right, and you can, then you could drag the image to reposition. So that's my keyboard now. Um, we have other options. This is for your background there. And then we can change these top and bottom parts this one doesn't seem to ever really want to move, but it does move if you hit it right. And then we can change that to any color we want. All right, so we're going to make this a nice red to fit the flower. And then we have this one as well. So that's blue right now. We want this to be a nice red as well. And then we have a new theme, and then we just save it. And we're going to say save and apply. So we can just save it to my themes because it's going to be saved for later. Um, or we could apply it. Now that means that's my keyboard now. All right, so these are my themes. You could have as many themes as you want. Um, and there is gonna be more preset themes in the future. These are our settings here. We have keyword settings, auto-correction, predict context, uh, learn my words. And when you open up WordFlow app for the first time, it's going to ask you for access to your contacts. That's why, because it needs to predict your contacts. Okay, so there is more settings over here. Uh, Auto-capitalization, double tap on space or period, edit your theme. And if you click more settings over here, it's just going to go back to what's up here. All right, so we can edit our theme, and now we're back here. So finally, how do you set this thing up? I'll show you, just in case you don't know how to set up a third keyboard on iOS. Go to General, and we're going to find Keyboard right here. Keyboards. And I have WordFlow already. If it's not on that list, as it won't be when you download the app, you're going to go to Add New Keyboard, and then it's going to show up right around here. All right, so... I'm a big fan of the WordFlow keyboard. There are a lot of third-party keyboards on iOS. They're just not that good. There's a lot of swipe keyboards. I've found WordFlow to be so, uh, pretty good in the time that I've used it so far. Um, it's a big question out there how Microsoft's gonna monetize this. I mean, most apps um, like Word and Excel and PowerPoint, that's pushing an Office 365 subscription, um, or there's Ed, Ed supported apps, this, this doesn't push anything unless maybe someone's gonna have an iPhone and go, hey, this keyboard's pretty cool, I gotta check out that Windows phone. Honestly, I think they just did this because they can and they wanted to. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm Richard Neowin. have a great night.